Now I'm making it where I just click the video, upload it. I don't spend all day. See, there's this focus that God expects of me. And when I intensely meet the expectation of that focus and it becomes my diamond, my value, my attribute, my money, my success, then because I'm intently focusing on the expectation of God and nothing else, I these gateways in my spirit open up. See, when you know God, like let's say I'm going to fast today. I know that God wants me to focus. So when you know an expectation and it becomes your number one pursuit to meet expectation. See, a lot of times I wasn't worried about meeting expectation. I was over here. I'm going to grow. I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to get spiritual and I'm going to persevere. And that's good. But that on my own was more important than meeting the expectation of God. Now, in a backward stance, in a spherical power, when it's more important for you to meet the expectation of God, you'll get the way of God, how he wants it done, and you will walk in an open heaven. A lot of times people are like, well, I'm giving money, I'm doing all these things, but I'm not experiencing open heaven. You're doing all these great things, and God is proud of you. And trust me, I'm talking from intense, intense experience. You better listen to my voice. But now it's about meeting that expectation. So now I have the Bible open. I'll have a, I won't look on my phone, check my email, none of that. I'll have scribed on audiobooks. And I have, I always have Gaia and spiritual and the anointing and the prophets on my YouTube. And I always have my channel ready to work on it. And I have all these focus points. And then I work out, I have all these focus points. And it's, it's starting, it's supercharging my life. It's supercharging my life. But you know, I'm not satisfied. This is one thing, I'm not satisfied until God is satisfied. So I have to meet his requirement. I have to I have to worship him like, and the way I do that is by giving my all to him. He wants me to give my all to him. If I never learn how to give my all to him every day, and he puts me into a big ministry, I won't successfully complete and fulfill the duty and call of that ministry that God has anointed me to do. I'll only 70 only 70 percent complete it because of zeal because of wisdom but if i don't learn to give god my all every day my whole heart my whole mind my whole life come out here and pour out go in my room pour out scream seeing honesty all these levels of just giving all the levels of me to god then i won't be able to fully meet the call and walk in the fullness of the anointing and the ministry god is giving to me so i have to learn that And I have to learn to stay within. Do you know when you stay within? Can I just give you two examples? You know when you listen to music or when you have sex with your wife? There are no problems. In that moment, when you're listening to music, you're such a you're in such a realm. You don't want money. You don't need anything. You're in the most amazing place. You, you don't need all the things you thought you needed, you were whining about, you were giving up on God for. You don't think about that stuff when you're listening to music. You start when you're in music, you're in the money. You're in the mansion. You're in the paradise. You're in the highest level. You don't need to make any money. You don't need to buy nothing. Same thing when you have sex. You're in the highest level. You don't need any anything. You don't you're not thinking, "Oh man, I don't got enough money." No. So how do we stay spiritually in the music? In the intimacy by staying in it. So when you stay within you stay in the music and frequency of God and you stay, you stay in paradise. See, we're always escaping the, the Garden of Eden. This is the Garden of Eden. You have everything. You have all my blessings, all my promises, all my wealth, all my earth. Subdue it. Multiply. You have everything that I've ever wanted to give you. But we, our mind goes into Exodus. Oh, Jesus. Our mentality goes into Exodus and we become a slave to the satanic principalities of Pharaoh again. Okay. And the Holy Spirit in Jesus. We're in the Garden of Eden. But then our mind starts, I don't have enough money. God's not doing this. This isn't fair. God's not doing this. Now we're in Pharaoh. Now, now we now now we 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 escaped the place where everything was. We wanted what was bigger. We thought what was better. We thought the grass was greener. Now we go into the curse. How, how, we do that in our mind. In our mind. 
if you could learn as a as a person to stay in the Garden of Eden, stay in health, stay in worship, stay thanking God that every day your money is growing, your life is growing, your business is growing, your ideas are growing, your heart is growing, your spirit is growing, your love is growing, your wisdom is growing, your grass is growing, and that everybody, more and more and more people are being saved, the world is being touched by you, you're being transformed every second of every day, and you stay there, and you stay in that thought realm, you, you'll stay in the Garden of Eden, and you'll just eat the fruit of Jesus. There is nothing better in life than to become passionate about the truth. You could be a hard worker, create things, become a master inventor, help people out, get, give to charity. You know, a lot of people, philanthropists or whatever, they don't give from their heart. They just give because they got money. But when, it, when you learn to live your life from the love of your heart and let the love of God fill your heart, live in a life of love and become passionate about the truth, the word of God, you, your life is going to be so unstoppable. You're going to live in your reigning power. You don't just want to have empowerment. You want to reign in all empowerment. You don't just want to own your house. You want to govern your bloodline. Okay? You don't just want the sequence. You want the, you want the whole of all the equals to, in your account. Okay. So when people speak, when you do good acts, that adds to your account. Mm -hmm. And the wisdom I get it can dissolve and turn into the voice of God. The dedication I have can dissolve and turn into the power of God. The just focusing on God and just being in a divine posture can dissolve and turn into the attributes of God. It's not about always, it's about changing your thinking. You know, you think the same thought over and over, you gotta learn to change that thought change the process of that thinking change the outcome of that thought and this is transforming your thought life which is your reality life I feel like we're just covering the surface right now but I know God is moving And I want to, I have to re-devote my life, my health. If I got to go shopping and buy a bunch of salad stuff and just eat a bunch of salad, if I, I have to do that because I kind of been slipping in my health. Like God tests me really strongly in my health. And for my passion to break through in health, for the power God wants to search through me in my health, for the fire, for the higher abundance of finances towards my health, because health and finances tie together, coexist, go one and one. Money and health are best friends. When you understand wealth, when you understand health, you're going to have a keen observing eye in the kingdom of heaven. And you're going to look down with such a brightness of wisdom and a reign in life. And credentials shall follow. Applications will come up and you will feel capacities of divine laboring, okay? And you will break through the ground. It, it is a mentality power. Remember, money and health go together. Learn about wealth and learn about health. Be in wealth, be in health. Okay, these are two powerhouses of life. Engines of God. Unbreakable forces, okay? Supernatural vitality. Div the immunity of divinity. The immunity of God, okay? 
the neurons of God, okay? We can get in there. The, the garden, the shepherd, the power, the prince, okay? Is it, it, these things begin to awake in health, okay? So if I, t if I take my money and devote it to one area of my wealth, you have to take your money and learn to devote it to many streams. And all these streams must be connected to Eden. They must be connected to your ministry. They must be connected to the purposes of God. So now you've devoted every dollar you ever make and you found a way to devote it to benefiting the kingdom of God. A lot of people don't want to hear that because they think, well, that's not going to benefit me. What you don't understand is when you invest in yourself through health, I think I have over $50 of networks I'm subscribed to that feed me wisdom, that feed me knowledge. I'm investing into the king, into the kingdom of heaven by doing that. And then invest the money for promotion, promoting this channel, promoting Pinterest, promoting health, because this is the business of God. So I use that money to promote health, in this business and when I do that the Spirit of God will actually move through through that so I I can find a new surge of power throughout my week by making sure that I buy health stuff see a lot of times I maybe I won't have healthy stuff in my refrigerator and then I'm like well I'm not gonna eat tonight I go to my job and there's nothing but bad food in my job and so I've just put myself I get really hungry and I've just put myself in a position where I have no choice but to eat bad food. So because I've not prepared myself wisely, I get hurt. And because I ask God to put intensity on my life, he, he puts intensity in my health. And he's, he told me your health is connected to your wealth. He said, when you're in health, son, I'll give you million dollar idea. Oh, Jesus. When you're in health, and when I mean health, I'm not talking about you being healthy one day out of the week. I'm talking about when you're devoted and you're in health. Devotion isn't just you eating your grandma's soup. It's, you know what? I'm going to go to HEB today even though I'm tired. I don't feel like waking up. And I'm going to go buy some organic kale. I'm going to buy some organic mushrooms. And, and you know what I'm saying? That's devotion. What God is looking for is sincerity and devotion. If you find that in your life with your health, your ministry, your children, these are supernatural spheres that will cause your life to... You, you won't will cause you to rocket launch in your life. You ever wonder what launches rockets to space? Well, there are spiritual things you do, and two of them I know is sincerity, or we can go even further. Sincerity, honesty, and devotion. These are things that will launch your spiritual rocket ship into the heavens. Okay, so when you live off life, and every time you have a phone call with somebody, every time you have a meeting, every time you deal with a customer, you're sincere with them. No matter how you feel. Oh, you know what, man? I don't feel good right now. And I'm just, if I was mean to you, I'm sorry. And, and you know what I'm saying? Here, here's your food. Or you're at your, you're at the doctor. Hey, look, look, I'm sorry. I'm having a rough day. I'm going to take care of you. Like, when, you learn to li when you learn to breathe and speak in the realm of honesty and sincerity, you, your, your voice, your speech is going to be so infused with the grace of God. And what this grace does, it multiplies favor. When favor is multiplied, wherever you go, people are going to give you money. Wherever you go, people are going to, hey, there is an adoration power that you can unlock in the love of Jesus. When you walk around people, they fall in love with you. Hey, hey man, hey, you work at this job. Hey, I want, hey, I'm looking for somebody. I'll pay you good money. I'll come to my house and pray. I'll pay. They'll, 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 the willingness inside of them to give, it will be turned to you because God will cause men to give unto your bosom. When you make your life about changing others' lives, you're going to go through much darkness because, but your life is going to be so radically changed, and you'll never be forgotten. And another key to encourage your life is stop trying to advance past the basic levels. Stop trying to go from third grade to six. Master third grade. Whether it's the third grade of you being kind to people. Whether it's the third grade of you just being faithful to church. 
whether it's the third grade, if you just go into your job with a mentality, you know what, today I'm just going to expect God to do great things and I'm just going to be, I'm going to work as hard as I can, I'm going to be as respectful as I can. Maybe it's the third grade of you just persevering, you know what, today I'm going to try not to eat food for six hours and just read my Bible, watch TBN, you know what I'm saying? Then go to the fourth grade. Then go to the fifth grade. Don't skip. We always try to skip the process. Listen, if a baby skipped the process of how to walk, and that human being never learned how to walk, they'd be in a wheelchair forever, okay? The baby has to go through the, pro it doesn't matter where you put the baby, how much money the baby has. If the baby's in poverty, if the baby's rich, the baby's not worried about that. The baby has to go through the process of learning to walk. No matter what neighborhood they're in, no matter if they get adopted, no matter what they went through circumstantially, they have to go through the process of walking. So go, you go through the process, life is a process. And if you just go through these processes with a good attitude, focused on God, read your Bible, submit to Jesus, live for the light, live for the kingdom of God, live for the truth, live for saving souls, live for helping people out. There is a power. There is a preaching ability and power that's unlocking within us right now. Okay. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is such a maturity that is coming upon us, a gladness that is coming upon us. A life filled with vitality, according to the health that's coming upon us. Oh yeah, I created my first t-shirt online today. I'm gonna buy it. And then I created my first business card for Organic Cleaning Company. I believe God wants me to scatter investments, not just hold on to one. He wants me to scatter seed, scatter knowledge, scatter wisdom over here, over here, over here, over here. I believe if I learn to invest God into every avenue of life, every social media, every online account every bank and I just learn how to pray over everything and invest everywhere into different companies and just pray over that I believe that I can reach the world without even without even having to leave my house just off my seeds my prayers using my money as a tool using my time as a tool just to spread this to millions of people people in China people in Africa people in Dakota just you know what I'm saying and we can do that we can do that for Jesus. Indeed, I would appeal to God. And before God, I would set forth my case. It's talking about the courtrooms of heaven. Who does the great and the instructable? Wonder without number. He gives rain on the surface of the earth and sends water on the outdoor places. He sets on high those who are lo lowly. He's, oh, I like that. I need to follow that. I need to apply, I want to apply that. Look, look. He sets on high those who are lowly. He sets on high those who are lowly. And those who mourn are lifted to safety. How happy is the man whom God corrects. Correction brings happiness. There's this darkness but I'm going through it right now. I can see it and I'm entering into the light of Jesus. Get off my mind, get off my back, get out of my life, get out of my heart. Just get off me and perish. I'm moving forward to the light of Jesus. I give you this child, Lord.
and I like it too because there's a breaking power every time you fa every time you break fast something broke in you a new level broke through you didn't broke open a new realm you didn't broke through another depths you didn't broke through another place you didn't broke through another chain off the world you didn't broke another weapon of the devil you didn't broke another chain of Satan you didn't broke another door open you didn't broke another touchdown you didn't broke another evil scheme you didn't broke through the atmosphere you didn't broke through a new level with God you didn't broke through a new time with God you didn't broke through a new season with God you didn't broke through a new level of his life you didn't broke through Criticism will lower you and darken you. Don't be criticizing nobody. Te teach me and I will hold my tongue and make me understand. You know when you shut your mouth and you just observe and you silence yourself and a knowing in your mind, these things connect that you you just need wisdom. You know, God will make you to, one way God, he'll make you to understand things. He'll enlighten your eyes. You'll feel gladness rise in your heart. You'll feel joy bubble in your belly. You'll feel the spirit of the Lord wrap around you, and you'll just be like, that's all you need to hear. You don't need to hear him tell you, you know, Matthew, 4 plus 4 is 8. Nah, that's God right there. And now, please give me your attention, for surely I will not lie to you. Turn, I pray. Let there be no injustice. Yes, turn again. My righteousness still stands. Look what he says. Cannot my taste discern pernicious things? Cannot my taste. So your taste can discern. You can taste revelation. You can taste the manna of heaven. 